guys hope you all are doing well today you will agree with me that many people married their own enemies yes many marriages now are failing by the day some are in their marriage crying they are in bitterness you know but what can they do they, some of them are like if i pull out now people are going to laugh at me you know they can't stand the shame so they are just enduring it managing it only when they come out you see them smiling trying to laugh but in the house man no 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 it doesn't go well at all they are living like cat and rats and they are always praying that one day things should get better but it's not even getting better by the day but let me tell you the signs you see in your early stages of relationship when you guys are still dating <laughs> you think the person will change right most people go into marriage with the same character and even maybe amplify it and make it more worse <laughs> all right i'll play guys this video okay so ladies marry someone who is like a friend to you who will be like your best friend yes like a brother someone who is considerate someone who feels your pain someone who cares for you you know not just don't be carried away by his handsomeness his look maybe he's rich check out other characters too other qualities okay <laughs> some will say he's cucumber <laughs> girls go after that too all right i'll play guys this video then i'll tell you my own last thoughts please like share subscribe okay let's go there um pardon can, can you do a roast you want me to do a roast yeah can i just remind you of something um i gave birth two days ago yeah two days ago and you came out of the hospital straight away you've been sitting around all this time so you can make a roast just sure. send me home to get rest at home yeah but you've been doing nothing but resting. Look at all these cups of tea. Oh. Just that. I mean, look, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry that I need caffeine to keep going with a newborn baby. Yeah, and it's not easy for me either. Right, I didn't give birth. No, but I'm not sleeping like you, so I'm knackered. And you're awake. So, we moved down the coming, and you know what they're like? They always want a roast. So they always want a roast, yeah. and I've not just given birth two days before. You can get up and make it yourself. <laughs> look. You do it much better than I do. We know that. I've tried. It's a waste of time. Why are you gaslighting me? I'm not gaslighting you. You're always saying I'm gaslighting you. I'm not. You're trying I'm to manipulate me into making a roast right. for your mum and dad because you can't be asked. Well, do you know what? I've just cooked for the last nine months. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll sit with them, with the baby. Talk to them. You've got like a couple of hours to well, yourself. You sit with your ass with the baby while I'm stood slaving over a hot stove. It doesn't work like oh, that. Oh, set me ass with the baby so you say it's easy then. Yeah, so if that's the case, then you can go in the kitchen then, can't you? What's the problem? All right. I wish many men will always go into the labor room, you know, stay there with their wife till she delivers the baby so that they will understand the pain they pass through. Even carrying the baby for nine months is not a joke. You know, here she was discharged. They were, she was asked to go and take her rest for two days, go and rest at, at home, you know. And the man is just here telling her to go prepare something for his parents. <laughs> imagine the parents came visiting why can't they themselves go and uh, cook for themselves find something to eat or even prepare food for the lady as well because most ladies you will agree with me that after giving birth most of them are not that strong you know they are still passing through pains some are still weak and tired why some can recover after two three five hours or ten hours or after a day or two they will be strong but not everybody not all ladies are the same so in this case she's not strong and the man supposed to understand <laughs> you know talking about his own parents so go and prepare something make a roast for them you know telling the lady you do it better you know uh, i'll take care of the children while you go do it okay prepare the food and um you know that <laughs> he said that he has been doing the house chores for the past uh he has been the one doing the house chores but the lady said i've been doing it also for nine months that means this lady have suffered that means this man was not even helpful all through the time the lady was pregnant chai you see, men, you guys should do better because not just getting married. You know, the wife is just your helper. Your wife is only a helper. You know what a helper is? Come and help me do this, please. Come on. That means you have to take almost 80% of the job. Yes, even housework. You have to be doing a lot of them. She's only there to help you, not to be your slave. Most men have converted their wives to slave. Even when their parents come, they want their wife to you know do everything wash for their parents cook for them clean the room ah is your wife a nanny chai ladies women have suffered in this world you know so i think it's not supposed to be like that 
every man supposed to also help their woman in the house to do house chores, house um, things, you know, arranging, cleaning, also washing, if possible, cook as well. Because after all, uh, when you are single as a man, you are the one preparing your own food, right? You are the one cleaning your own rooms, cleaning everywhere in the house. Uh -huh. You are the one doing those things, washing your clothes, doing everything. So how comes... Just after getting married, you now want her to do everything. You say, I'm the man. I go to work. I make money. It's normal. You are the man. Are you supposed to sit at home? Even the lady too wants to work. Who told you that every lady that is married don't, don't want to work? All of them want to work. Just that most men suppress them. You know, after having three, four, five children, they can't work anymore because um, they have to dress them up, take them for appointments in the hospital, take them to school, help them do assets. All those things take their time. And the man doesn't want to help out. At least get a nanny, you know, somebody that can be uh, doing the house choice, you know, taking children to school, bringing them back. Why the woman can have, still have time to work? You know, who told you that she doesn't want to work? She's not just a liability. Most women say, ah, women are liability. No, you made them liability because you don't want to help them out to relieve them from certain duties at home. As a man, you should also contribute in taking care of the children, you know, bathing them while she's preparing their food, dressing them up, even helping to clean the house. Don't just allow your woman to do everything. You Let me tell you, no woman likes it. No woman likes it. Let me tell you, a woman, most ladies that are married, when they see their husbands working, doing house chores, taking care of the children, cooking as well, even going to the market, they love it. But you know, in some places in, uh, in the world, you know, they will say the, the lady has put uh, turn, turn him to a handbag or a, 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 um, what they call it. The, the lady has used charms on him. You know, he's not like a toy to the lady. You know, a robot. The lady controls him like <laughs> crazy. But it's not so. That is perfect love. The man understands. He's understanding. He's considerate. You know, he cares for the lady. He, he also understands that she's a human being. So that's why he's also helping out. Trying to play his own fatherly role in the house. So please, man. When you do these things, it doesn't make you less of a man. Your woman will appreciate you more and love you more. Let me tell you, women do talk about it all. They talk, they gossip about these things. You know, they will say, look at my man. He doesn't even help. All he knows is also come back, eat his food and tell me he wants to make love. You know? But the other ladies will be like, ah, my husband is scared, you know. When he comes back, he helps do this, do that, do assignment for the children, bath them, play with them, clean the house, even sometimes cook for us. That is a romantic man. Just start doing these things. Man, if you start applying this formula, trying to be helping your woman out in the house, eh? I bet you, you see a kind of love, a side of love that you have never seen from her will start appearing. You know, women are really suffering. If you allow them to carry all the load in the house, they are suffering. It's not easy. It's not easy. I'm telling you. You try to do it for just a month. Just switch, switch jobs. Let her be the one working so that you will be at home. Who told you? She's educated. Most girls are educated. They can work. So just switch job. You try to take care of the children for one month or even one year. Do the house choice. Do everything. Cook. Let us see whether you will be able to endure. <laughs> Why should be the one going to make the money? Let's see whether you can even manage staying with the children at home just for even a month. You know how children play. You have to be everywhere with them. Anywhere they go, you have to be there to make sure that they are safe. You know, they are not in danger. Women do these things. So who told you that they are not tired? They are equally tired. At night, they are weak. And then you come back and say, come on, get up. Go and cook. Go and do this. Go and do that. Forgetting that she has been busy since morning with the children. So, please, man, try to change. It will not make you less of a man. Come on. Collaborate with your wife. She's just your helper. So, be doing the things. Those things you were doing when you were single. Keep doing them. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep doing them. Take all the clothes, everybody. You put it in washing machine. You wash. You go spread it. You iron. You know, it doesn't make you less of a man. You clean the house. Do the ones you can do. You know? <laughs> all right. So that's it. So in that video, you have seen what played out. She just gave birth. You know, not quite long. Two days. And the man is already forcing her to start cooking for his own parents. Why the parents could have come and even bring food? Uh, and say, hey, just relax, calm down, you just gave birth, you know, don't worry, we're here to help you, blah, blah, blah. Not even the girl's mother, you know. So, it's like that. Many men consider their own family first, before they even consider the person they call a wife, you know. 
they, they, they don't even give her pocket money even upon everything most women will do in the house most men hardly even appreciate them by buying them gifts surprising them with a gift you know or giving them cash you know money to say thank you i understand it's not easy i appreciate you know <laughs> all right so that's why ladies before you marry don't just marry for one or two reasons oh his family is rich oh he has a good job oh he's abroad he's in abroad who told you that people abroad thinks normal too eh? in this video you see does it look like they're in in africa People in abroad too, they have a lot of junkies as well. So don't think when you marry from a guy abroad, it means that he's responsible, he thinks well. You have to analyze the person well and see whether the person has human feelings, have good conscience, whether the person is caring, whether the person is full of love. Not someone that will treat you like a slave in the house, shout at you, insult you, prefers his own family, that's his own parents, brothers and sisters over you, you know? Listening to his own parents more, listening to his own family members more than you. Plans with his own family. Anything you tell him, you go and tell his own family. Eh? <laughs> no secret. Anything you tell him, let's do this, let's do that. He will go and tell his own family to give so that the family will give him the final answer. Final go ahead, whether he should do it or not. Then he'll come back and say, hey, My family said, my family said, my mommy said, my daddy said, my brother said, my sister said. That's what you keep you keep that's what you keep hearing them say, those kind of men authoritative men very wicked in nature and deadly Chai, most women are suffering many are in this kind of marriage with men that are authoritative in nature when they are out of the house woman is very happy very happy when they are when they are out but when they are coming back ha, huh, she starts being scared she starts being scared she's like when would this man on that when would this man show me love when you know, even making love, it's not even sweetening her again. She doesn't even feel it because she's scared of the man. But, ladies, in the time, the, the time you are doing your relationship, watch well. Look at those signs. Can you deal with it in marriage? Can you deal with those signs you are seeing in your present relationship now? Can you deal with it when it comes to marriage? Can you handle that man in that character, in that form? The way it's treating you now in that relation. Though some people used to hide their own characters, their bad sides. They hide it. It's only when you now enter, you start seeing them pouring it out. You know? So, well, that is that. Marry your friend. Marry who is your best friend. Marry someone who will treat you like a friend, like a brother. You know? Someone who will show you maximum love, maximum respect. Someone who will understand that you are a human being. You are someone else's child as well. Not a slave to him okay all right i'm out of here man i am chi chow please like share and subscribe tell me your thoughts in the comment section one love guys bye bye subscribe subscribe